But what he's saying is clearly, it's clearly resonating. Boy. You know, you mentioned anger before. People are, people are angry. Yes. Are you, are you worried about him? I of think, course. Yeah. I'm worried anytime. No, no, not angry. about him. Looked at his face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pleb. In today's story, Justin Trudeau doubles down on his beef with India. Yesterday, press conference, Justin Trudeau continues to make relations between Canada and India even worse because he's a moron. As well, tonight, a base Chinese immigrant absolutely blasts a woke white woman who screams out, free Gaza, at a Remembrance Day vigil. And in our last story, the Liberal Party releases another attack ad on Pierre Polyev and makes him look great. Can they do anything right? You won't want to miss tonight's story. Stick around. Today's episode has been brought to you by Beaver Bitcoin, Canada's best Bitcoin exchange. I'm not going to do an ad read today. I'm just going to say thank you to Beaver Bitcoin. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for sponsoring content like mine. In today's world of woke and cancel culture, it takes real courage to sponsor a channel like the pleb. So I just want to say thank you, Beaver Bitcoin, for believing in me. Check them out in the description below and let's start today's report. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I need you to smash the subscribe button. We are taking down Justin Trudeau over here at the Pleb Reporter channel, and I need all the help I can get. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, smash the subscribe button and help me take down Trudeau. I absolutely need you. Welcome to your Saturday report. We're going to have some fun here today, but before we have fun... I just want to get serious and just say thank you to the troops. Thank you to the men and women who are overseas sacrificing to defend this country. And thank you to every man and woman in our history who died defending Canada and giving us the freedom we have today. Today is a celebration about you, and I want to say thank you. In our first story, it appears that Justin Trudeau is continuing to fan the flames on the dumpster fire that is our relationship here in Canada with the great country of India. Because this week at a press conference, Justin Trudeau just couldn't help himself but take more shots at India and make things actually worse. The person who posted this clip is Contrarian Tribe, who's been putting out a lot of good clips here on X that I've been enjoying seeing. But he made a good comment here. He's asking, why does Justin Trudeau keep poking the elephant that is India? Let's go find out. I swear, Justin, if you screw up my access to butter chicken, I'm going to be pissed. All right. I'm not joking. I will be very mad. The very beginning when we uh, learned of credible allegations uh, that uh, agents of the Indian government were involved in the killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil. Canadian citizen on Canadian soil. Najjar literally tried to get into the country twice illegally. And you guys still let this guy in, Canadian citizen. No way, dude. This guy's a terrorist. He was a terrorist. And you still let him in. We reached out to India <laughs> to ask them to work with us on getting to the bottom of this matter. We also reached out to our friends and allies like the United States and others uh, to work on this really serious violation of uh, international law and of sovereignty of a democracy. This is something that we are taking very, very seriously. We will continue to work with all partners as long. You know what, Justin? Like, Pr Prime Minister Modi actually takes care of problems called terrorism. You just let terrorists into our country. Go look at what Hamas is doing in our streets right now. I have respect for Modi because he actually handles these problems. He went and eliminated a terrorist. He eliminated his problems. You import terrorists. You're making Canada into a terrorist country. Law enforcement and investigative agencies continue to do their work. Canada is a country that will always stand up for the rule of law <laughs> because if might starts to make right again, if bigger countries can violate international law without consequences, then the whole world gets more dangerous for everyone. We have been very... They killed the terrorists. Good job, India. Good job, India. Good job, Modi. 
You eliminated a terrorist. That upsets Justin Trudeau. He likes terrorists. Very, very clear that we want to work constructively with India on this very serious matter. From the very beginning, we shared the real allegations that we are deeply, deeply concerned about. But we have reached out to the Indian government and to partners around the world to get to the bottom of this, to take it seriously. That's why we were so disappointed when India violated the Vienna Convention and arbitrarily revoked the diplomatic immunity of over 40 Canadian diplomats in India. Okay, so when Osama bin Laden was in Islamabad and SEAL Team 6 went and eliminated him, was that a breaking the Vienna Convention when they eliminated a terrorist? I mean, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing the logic here because I see this guy as a terrorist. And you allow in terrorists. It's just crazy. <laughs> Think about it from our perspective. We have serious reasons to believe that agents of the government of India could have been involved in the killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil. And India's response is to kick out a whole bunch of Canadian diplomats. Dude, you literally let in Chinese police stations in our country. What are you talking? Now you're worried? Now you're worried about outside influences in our country. How many years have we had these Chinese police stations here in Canada? By violating their rights under the Vienna Convention? That is of concern to countries around the world. Because if a given country can just, just decide that their diplomats He's of such another an country actor. are no longer protected, that makes international relations more dangerous and more serious. He's but acting. But every step of the way, we have tried to work constructively and positively. He's moving his hands. And we will continue to. Guys, he's, he's moving his hands, trying to invoke more emotion, more expression. This is all acting, guys. It's all acting. And that means continuing to work with uh, Indian government diplomats. This is not a fight we want to be having right now. But we will unequivocally always stand up for the rule of law. Yeah, that's yeah. that's who Canada is. Oh, yeah. You care about the rule of law. What about all the hate crimes going on right now in Canada? All the anti-Semitism, all the attacks on Jewish people that is happening literally in our streets. How come no one's been arrested? How come no one's been deported? You don't care about the rule of law. You are full of it. And as far as Modi goes, respect to him. He's a much better leader than you. He actually takes care of the terrorism problem in his country. You could actually learn a lot from Modi, Mr. Trudeau. In our next story, today's Remembrance Day, and Karima Rules was in Toronto at a Remembrance Day vigil. And she caught some crazy viral footage as a based Asian immigrant absolutely blasts a white woke woman in a mask for screaming out free Gaza during a Remembrance Day vigil. So this lady screams free Gaza during a Remembrance Day ceremony and this Asian dude is not having it. This clip is awesome. Oh, Gaza, fuck you, what your left hands are, fuck off. <laughs> Good lord, this is not about this that is stupid This day is crap. not yours! Dude, Fuck you! Wow, he just said this day is not yours. F you, damn. This no, no car! Get the fuck out of here. This is not your land, motherfucker! <laughs> Go home, you fucking bitch. I pay my attention for this is everything. Yes, I go. What? Wow. Anyone feel like this Asian dude actually cares about our country more than the left? I can't be the only one, right? Immigrants like this guy are the absolute best. And you want to know what? They actually make Canada a better place. How about we deport these woke leftists and start importing people like him who are actually fighting communism in Canada? Respect to the Asian dude. And then after that, the Asian dude and an Iranian dude, I think his name's Salman, went and confronted this protester, asking her to take off her mask and expose her face if she's so proud about what she's saying. And I came here as a refugee and I am proud for what I did today. And I show my face. 
You are ashamed and you cover your face. I have to say, you must pass off a sword in the turf. You have to do you it here right now. Right here right now, you have to do it right here right now. If you are right proud, right show your face. Where's if it, you are proud, you show your face. Do you have any, you have any symbol of your face? Where's your face? face. Show your face. Show your face. Okay, we're gonna make a mob here. Hold on. That is actually awesome. And yes, I believe if that woman actually was proud of what she had to say, she would show her face. But you know what? The left are all absolute cowards. Shout out to those immigrants who absolutely love Canada. You make this country better. Thank you. Bless you. Let's get on to the next story. Do you guys remember when I put out a clip on X that went absolutely viral in June? This clip specifically, I can't even play it on X, but it's the kids stomping on the pride flag and their mothers cheering them on. You guys remember this? Look at this, 65,000 likes, almost 20,000 retweets, and it's been seen 31.6 million times. Yeah, that clip was pretty wild, but you want to know what's even more wild? A super bass comedian in Canada actually wrote a comedy bit based on that piece of footage I got. The comedian's name is Ben Bankus. I'm sure some of you guys know who he is. He has a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him. He has 744 K subscribers. Let's see if we can get that up to 10,000. But he has a special right here called Gay Tatorship, <laughs> the gay dictatorship, and it has 15,000 views in 10 days. And the craziest part about this comedy special that you totally need to watch, by the way, is that he actually made a joke based on a piece of my journalism that I did on Twitter. This is just wild. Let's go watch the clip. What happened is now you have the uh, you have Muslim children uh, stomping on pride flags. Have you seen this? This was a this little. There's, their moms are in hijabs in the background, going yes, yes, this, <laughs> and the little kids are like, yeah, I fucking hate. <laughs> and, and you're like, this is it's, this is beautiful. I love this. This is. This is community, this is unity, this is everything. But then you think about the liberals, they, they really fucking back themselves into a corner with this one, right? Yes, yes. Like, what are they, like, they're basically, like, Trudeau's like a bad traffic cop. Just being like, yeah, okay, gays, come here, okay, Muslims, oh shit, that was a car accident, what the fuck? I totally thought they were just gonna... Like, what did the liberals think? They were, oh, let's put a gender clinic in every mosque. How about that? Is that going to... I absolutely love it. So in an era of political correctness and wokeness, we need to support comedians like Ben Bankus, who is not woke. Let's send a message to the establishment and support comedians like this. Look, 15,000 views in 10 days. Okay, 7.44K subscribers. Let's all go send Ben Bankus some love and support those who are fighting the good fight. In our next story, the Liberal Party has put out another attack ad on Pierre Polyev. If you guys remember a couple of videos ago, I went and featured Pierre Polyev coming out for parental rights and saying no to gender ideology being taught in schools. Well, now the Liberals, okay, are putting out attack ads on Pierre getting themselves absolutely ratioed and making Pierre Polyev look better by the end of the video. Let's watch this. Look at this right here, everyone. 2,200 likes and 4,500 comments. Is there any post that the Liberal Party puts out that doesn't get absolutely ratioed? Nature is definitely healing. Oh no, the boogeyman Pierre is coming for our pronouns. No! Does not have a right to impose his radical gender ideology on our kids. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Left wing gender insanity being pushed on our children. Oh no, it's Donald Trump! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> gender ideology imposed in their curriculums. Radical uh, gender ideology. Religion of gender ideology. Proponents of radical gender ideology. Radical gender ideology. Radical gender ideology. <laughs> Oh, wow. American-style politics. 
I just love how they put Trump right at the front, like all these leftists with their Trump derangement syndrome. How hilarious. So yes, this this attack ad is ridiculous. Makes Pierre Polyev look good. And the funny thing is that the majority of parents agree with Pierre. The liberals are ridiculous. They're literally standing on the side of butchering children. They're nuts. Let's go read the comment section underneath this video and see what the people have to say about this liberal video. First comment comes from Zachary Tysdale who writes, this is a massive of endorsement for Polyev and is supported by the vast majority of parents. What are you even doing? Man, whoever's running the liberal communications needs to be fired because everything they are doing has the absolute opposite effect. The next comment comes from the pleb. Guys, the pleb. I ratioed the liberal party as well, saying the liberal party wants to run on defending the mutilation of children. The left is even stupider than I originally thought, right? And our last comment here comes from petrified COVID parent who also ratios the liberal party and says, so wait, you guys are pro-child genital mutilation? Weird political flex, but okay. Another attack ad by the liberals and another absolute train wreck. You love to see it. And you know what? This is going to flow very well into our next story because I have an update for you guys because Libs of TikTok is still going at it with Rachel Gilmore who posts her video blasting Pierre. All right, we're going to watch this video, but it says here, Rachel Gilmore, the failed journalist, LOL, from Global News, blasts Pierre Polyev for being pro-parental rights. She's upset that lessons on gender ideology and pornographic books are being removed from schools. <laughs> Why would anyone be against parents having a say in their children's education? There's a word for people who don't want parents knowing what's going on in their classroom. Alarm bells. All right, guys, let's watch this clip. All right, we're going to try to get through a Rachel Gilmore TikTok. I'm probably going to laugh the whole way through. Pierre Polyev has jumped on board with parental rights rhetoric. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Parental rights rhetoric? Tell me, Rachel. That's right. The same rhetoric used to justify anti-LGBTQ <gasps> efforts by Ron DeSantis and Moms for Liberty. No Let me explain. No In an interview two days ago, Polyev did his usual conspiracy theory dog whistles about the World Economic Forum and digital ID. Oh my god, did Pierre Polyev talk about the WAF? No way. That is such a dog whistle to the far right. Like, everyone knows that, right? But he also added a new line into the rotation. Quote, I believe in parental rights. Yeah, everyone knows that kids belong to the government, you guys, all right? Par parents, those are not your kids, okay? We need to indoctrinate them first so they're just dumb as I am, okay? <laughs> My view is that parents should be the final authority on the values uh, and the lessons that are taught to children. Uh, I believe in parental rights. Well, this might sound oh my god that is so hardcore oh my god that is the far right you guys <laughs> on its face the parental rights movement is something specific oh my god. the movement has surged as a backlash to trans rights movements it's oh being used god. to justify sweeping book bans which disproportionately target these kinds of books oh my Those god oh my god books the same rhetoric used in ron DeSantis's parental rights and education bill also known as the don't say gay law oh my god. policies infiltrate canadian oh classrooms in new brunswick is the far right in our country rachel oh my this is crazy Wick and Saskatchewan. Students are being barred from using their preferred names or pronouns unless they're outed to their parents first. Oh my god, they can't use pronouns? Pierre Polyab needs to go to prison. Flash. If students aren't comfortable sharing their gender identity with their parents, there's probably a good reason for oh my that. God. Manitoba oh my God. Ontario have both signaled that something similar. Yeah, like kids should be keeping secrets from their parents, okay? might be on the horizon. I broke down the data on how these policies put trans lives at risk in my previous oh videos. My this isn't the oh first time God. Polyab has come under criticism for his approach to LGBTQ rights recently. He told Trudeau to butt out of New Brunswick's policy on pronouns. Oh he no. missed the pride flag rising. Oh so no, he went after our pronouns? No way. Pierre Polyab's a talking pronouns? Oh my God saying he was working late and during last weekend's press conference he also said lgbtq issues should be left up to parents oh my god apparently in his world anti-lgbtq parents do not exist <gasps> what do you think of all this man don't you just love listening to a left-wing childless woman telling you guys how to raise your kids 
Like, is there anything more delusional than this? Seriously. And am I the only one who lost brain cells actually watching this? Let me know in the comments. And for the final nail in the coffin, lives a TikTok. Chaya Rychik replies to that and posts and writes, yikes, on the famous Rachel Gilmore waiting for a hot dog photo. And you want to know what's funny? Karima actually made a cartoon about this with Rachel Gilmore at Libs of TikTok's front door with her picture on the front of uh, USA Today. Libs of TikTok here is eating the apple and saying base, which is super funny. But Karima included something really funny here that some of you guys have seen, which is Rachel Gilmore's famous be a slut bag that she was spotted wearing in Ottawa. Look at this. Too funny. You guys remember this photo here with Rachel walking in the streets with a be a slut, do whatever you want bag? Well, you know what? Karima actually put that in the cartoon here. It's absolutely wild. She actually included the be a slut, do whatever you want bag in the actual cartoon. 10 on 10 attention to detail, Karima. Absolutely brilliant. So yes, another day on Twitter, another day of libs of TikTok destroying Rachel Gilmore, and I will continue bringing you guys updates on that specific beef because I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. And quickly, before I let you guys go, you remember I covered, uh, yesterday I covered Justin Trudeau getting his booster shot? You guys remember this? Well, there's actually some details emerging on the internet that are saying that this shot here was not even filmed yesterday. Per Reddit here on the Canada sub, some guy writes, nice photo op from last year. I work in the building this photo was taken in. I can assure you he did not come here yesterday. Our team would have known since we work building security in said building. This is the Rexall inside 235 Queen, corner of 240 Sparks. The next person writes, Justin trying to put one over on Canadians. The Dickens, you say. Man, a lot of you guys in yesterday's comments were telling me that the shot was fake. Well, hell, yeah. I don't, first of all, there was no needles put in his arm, obviously. But now this video wasn't even shot this week. Man, the deception and lies just keep getting crazier. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. And I'll end it off with a question here. Do you guys think Justin Trudeau made things worse between India and Canada with his comments from the press conference? What do you guys think? Like, how do you guys think he's handling this entire situation with India? I really want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. As usual, if you enjoy my broadcasts, Make sure to like this video. It helps more people see it. Share it out. Tell your friends about the Pleb Reporter. That helps me out too. Buy a membership. That would be cool. But other than that, thank you for watching my videos. That's all that matters. I love you guys. Mwah. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.